wonderful creative friends. Welcome to another episode of Finish a Journal with me, Tamara Laporte from Willowing Arts. Hi there. I'm very proud of myself today for managing to produce the fourth episode. I don't think I've done uh, a series of anything this long uh, for my YouTube channel, so I'm excited to be sharing it with you today. For those of you who are new to the channel or the series, uh, that is, um, Finish a Journal is all about me f challenging myself, finishing uh, my many, many, many journals. But uh, for this um, particular challenge, I've actually challenged myself to just finish two journals. So I have these two journals, actually many unfinished journals. <laughs> I have many, many, but these are my most recent ones, <clears throat> these two. And I'm trying to um, finish them, preferably by the end of the year, but I don't think it's going to happen. And a lot of my pages are often sort of unfinished or I'm not quite happy with them. And what I tend to do is move on to a new journal. But um, first of all, the journals I love are have been discontinued, sadly, very, very sadly. I'm very upset about that. So I'm going to, uh, and I don't really know what to replace them with. And so it's actually a perfect time for me to kind of just go back to the journals that I already have and, and, and finish the page, pages and use them in sort of special ways. But what I like is the challenge because it's not so easy to finish pages that you sort of don't like or don't have a connection with, you know? So yeah, so I like challenging myself sometimes to do kind of difficult creative stuff. Difficult, you know what I mean. You know, something that is kind of like, uh, I don't know. And then when you do that, when you challenge yourself, it pushes your at the edges of your comfort zone and your boundaries and then you learn things and that's quite cool. So today I want to show you how I created this cool um, butterfly page which is paired with an uh, oh this way <laughs> paired with a, uh, a ladybird page. I went through phases of doing bugs and um, I love doing little bugs and magnifying them and making them whimsical. If you're interested in a lesson like this, an in-depth one, by the way, there are some of those on my website called Beautiful Bugs. So go to www.willowing.org and have a look there if you're interested in that. But for today, I'm going to do this really colorful butterfly. And the other thing that I'm doing today is what happened after this is I thought, oh, I want to do some more pages for this session. I don't want to just do the butterfly. So I spent about two hours trying to work on the other pages. And guess what? I really struggled on all of the other pages. I didn't like what I was doing. I got frustrated with pages and I moved on to the next one. And then I got frustrated again. And then I moved on to the next one and then I got frustrated again. <laughs> I think it happened about four or five times because what I wanted was to end up with another page that I could share with you guys. And instead I ended up with just five or six unfinished pages that made me angry. <laughs> I say angry, annoyed, frustrated. But I also talk about this in the very end of the video. Please listen to it. Because um, what I uh, one of the most important messages that I'd like to give to my students uh, on on LifeBook and the other classes I run is that it's super important to develop something called I call it creative courage, but really it's creative courage to fail, quote unquote. And when I say fail, I don't mean really failing. I mean making art that you don't like. For a lot of people, when they make art that they don't like, and particularly if it happens like one after another after another, they end up giving up. And totally understandable, by the way, because it's a yucky feeling and an unpleasant, uncomfortable feeling to make art that you don't like. It's very understandable that you might be like, oh, I'm going to give up on this. I don't want to do this anymore. Having said that, uh, if you're going to stop and quit, of course, you're never going to get to the other side of that particular challenge. And the other side of that challenge is where most of the time, I was going to say, in my case, <laughs> it didn't happen this week, but most of the time you make art that you do like. And so I've actually shared on a couple of my summits and classes uh, the creative artists or the, the creative journey, uh, like a like a phases uh, or stages um, schematic of what I consider the creative journey. And uh, one of the phases is one of the hardest phases, which is when you're sort of a beginner, uh, you kind of I call it stage, it's phase two, and where you're a beginner and you love art and you're becoming so into it, um, but all the art you produce or a lot of the art you produce is not what you love. You just don't love it. And, and that can be a really discouraging phase, particularly when you associate um, your output or your, the, the, your, your paintings and how good they are with, with your worthiness. So if you're doing that, try and work on that because that's not helpful. Um, and a lot of people tend to 
uh, stop creating art in that phase. And and what I want to encourage people to do is to cultivate the courage to fail. So the courage to fail, the courage to make paintings you don't like and just keep going anyway. Because if you can manage that, if you can create, if you can cultivate that courage, you're basically like 70% done. You can then you, you're fine. You'll be, you'll come to the, you'll come to the other side. You'll come to a phase, phase three and four and five, where you'll make more paintings you like that you, compared to that you don't like. And that's a wonderful phase to be in. But you have to find that courage to go into phase two with a fine. I know that I'm not going to like this, but I'm learning and I'm growing and I'm, I'm going to like, you know, work with whatever I've got. Anyway, I kind of have told you now <laughs> what I say at the end. But go in a bit more depth at the end. So do listen to that if this is something you you want to um, feel like you need to cultivate. And uh, it, it was prompted because I made so many pages that I didn't like. Now, the good thing about making pages that I didn't like is that I now have new pages that I have to work on again for the next episodes. <laughs> and I will. I will. I'm going to keep doing the episodes. All right. So. Um, I hope you're all well. Um, at the moment of filming this right now, coronavirus is still around. Pandemic is still there. Although some countries are easing the lockdown rules. I hope you're okay um, and managing through this time. Be extra gentle on yourself. Also be okay with not being okay. If you're affected in... Uh, if it's a really difficult time for you, go really easy on yourself. Be super kind to yourself. It's normal and understandable. And uh, also do not tell yourself that during quarantine, you should come out with having written a book or, I don't know, reorganize your entire house. You know, this is a collective trauma that we're all experiencing. And what is needed is in exquisite kindness and compassion and gentleness with yourself as we go through these very strange and challenging times. And if you can, or if you want to make art with me, that can help with her calming down your uh, stress levels as well so yes yeah, so wishing you all um a lots of love and uh good good wishes to all of you and if you are enjoying my session today please come and check out uh, my other other places i love hanging out on instagram it's one of my favorite social media sites uh, to be i love um putting little messages in the stories in particular and i also it's also where i share my most up-to-date art anything i'm working on is tends to be posted there first so please do share uh, connect with me there also i am still um giving away a free lesson called the light of the art angel below in the in the in the description bar you can um find out more about that if you want to join that and what else yeah and i run lots and lots of classes um on my site www.willowing.org where i go into great depth as to how i do my spiel how i do my thing okay everyone hope you have a lovely uh, time on this session and i'll see you again soon much love bye hello everyone i love you all so much and thank you for being here i so appreciate Every single one of you, everyone who watches my videos and leaves a comment, I read all of the comments, just so you know, and I deeply appreciate you being here and your support. Thank you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Okay, I shall stop talking now. I also have some new supplies to play with that I want to use today and talk to you about a little bit. The kind people over at Arteza sent me yet another one of their wonderful supplies. Um, I am very excited about trying out gouache colours. Now I have played with them a little bit already and in the past, in my in my uh, past as an artist I have used some gouache, uh, but not, yeah, it's never been really a big part of my supply arsenal and i um, super excited to play with them a bit more. So for those of you who don't know, so gouache paint is a type of watercolour paint that has a different binder, I think. Uh, it's a bit more chalky. And it means that um, it's less transparent than uh, watercolour. Uh, and you can do uh, sort of more, more opaque layers with it. And it finishes as a matte, uh, with a, as a matte finish, has a matte finished finish. So it's kind of like a paint that is sort of between acrylics and watercolour. It's still mostly built or designed or created or whatever. The composition of it is still more similar to watercolour than acrylics. Um, but it is thicker than watercolour and you can kind of use it a little bit like acrylic, kind of. But it doesn't have this kind of shiny or more glossy finish that a lot of the acrylics do have. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do another um, journal spread with you 
and or maybe two or three, I don't know, or I might try and finish a couple of pages as well. And I'm going to try and use um, mostly these uh, paints, gouache paints today. So, um, oh yeah, I have already opened the box. So normally they don't they don't provide them like this. They provide them in these neat little plastic trays. And uh, but I, I like to take them out of the trays and throw them all in the box because I like it messy like that. <laughs> and they do it all very organized. And um, yeah, and it comes this the sixty colors come with a wide range of colors. Um, I've already played with them. If you've been on my Facebook uh, recently, I recently, well, maybe two or three weeks ago, I did a live there where I played with some of these. Or was that on live? Book? I can't remember now. I have used them a couple of times informally in some of my lives. So you may have seen me use them already, but I haven't used them much yet. So today is when I'm going to really dig into them and see what I think of them. Okay, so before we start playing with supplies, I wanted to just go through my journals. Those of you who are following the, uh, have, have been following the the finisher journal episodes um, might be interested in seeing what I've made, <laughs> any work I've done in the journal since last time I uploaded. Um, if you haven't watched the previous episodes, uh, let me see if I can insert some uh, links to them. Uh, over there, over there, over here is episode one, over here is episode two, and over here is episode three. Go check that out if you want to. Or maybe do it after the video. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look. So these are the two, the two journals I'm setting myself the challenge this year to finish. And you would have thought maybe that I had a lot of time to actually finish uh, the journals this year, but actually, you know what? Um, a lot of my time is taken up with being with kids, looking after the house and all that sort of thing. So I have actually marked where uh, I have done more artwork. So last uh, episode I did, oh I did two actually, uh, last uh, uh, episode I did this piece of, um, this this spread with you guys that you may have seen me do. And I also since then have done another one. Here is a, um, this is a self-portrait. This will be published as part of a summit uh, that, um, if you're on my newsletter by the way, if, you, if you're interested in that, uh, you'll be announced, you'll be notified of where you can watch this tutorial. It's part of a summit called uh, Pray Art Love, I think. With Alexis. If you're interested in, the, um, in uh, seeing that tutorial, check the um, description below for my newsletter and then you get all the updates of everything that you ever need to know about what I do. <laughs> so that one is done. So I did that one, of course, last time. Then I've done this one and I think this one wasn't done before this one. I'm not sure now. You may have seen me do this one already. And I'm really proud. I love this. There's something about this face that I love a lot. I actually really like the color scheme. I I am very scared of... Joke oh, scared. Um, I don't use red a lot and I don't use green a lot. And uh, anyway, um, I love that color scheme. But also, look, I made a similar painting based on this one um, for my life bookers for June. So I'm teaching how to do this um, painting in life book... 2020 this year in the month of June. So if you're interested in like doing a detailed painting like this with step-by-step -step instructions rather than time-lapse stuff, do come and join us on Lifebook 2020. You can still join anytime and you get access to all the content posted. It comes with like 85 lessons and you get a virtual goodie bag. It's so fun. And you also get access to all the summit content. Like it's a, it's a, it's a crazy beautiful offer that I put all my heart and soul into. So anyway, I, I just, um, was reminded of this painting that I did yesterday based on that journal page because people loved it so much on Instagram. So in this journal, I've only really done two new pages. I think this is new since last time. Otherwise, I can't quite remember what I do between videos. Um, but let me just, and I think you've seen this already, that one as well. So these are all fairly new. I'm basically into high contrast portraits at the moment, as you can see, and then the other one, I haven't done anything there. If you want to see a proper flip through of this journal, um, do go to the first episode because then you then you can see where it was before. Uh, and then, so this one is new since the last video. That was the last video. And I think that's it for this particular journal. Yeah, is that right? Let's double check, yeah. I think that's correct. So let's look at the second journal because I have done a bit of work in here, I think. Have I? I put these. That's weird. Oh. Oh yeah, this one. Oh, see, it's, it's fallen in. 
So this one I did since last time. I'm sure that I hadn't shown this in my series yet. Again, high contrast portrait. I put some um, collage in here as well. So I was playing around again with mixing, mixing it all up. Really loved how this came out. If you may recall, so the the page and I, I'm I'm ashamed I'm sad that I didn't film this one, but sometimes I you know how it works is you have to do some art just for you, um, and everything's so crazy and then you constantly film everything it becomes it's a different kind of energy then it's still sort of more rigid and more f forced because you can't move around in the way you want and stuff so. Um, sometimes when I really need um, to look after my soul and heart and health, <laughs> I have to do art on my own. Anyway, you may recall that this flower was on this page completely on its own with no nothing around it. So what I did was I created this face and then you know merged the two pages together. And I, I like I like how they go together. It works quite well. So that was a new one in this in this one, and I don't think I have done new stuff in this journal then. I know there's a piece of paper sticking out there, but that's for another reason. So how do we look? Oh, 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 sorry, yeah, and this. So uh, I added houses here uh, on a Facebook Live, but this isn't finished, as you can see. So I may actually finish this today, but what this requires, the finishing just requires like line work right now, because I added um, a lot of colors, you can see. And actually, this was done with the uh, some of these, um, the gouache. So I did this on a Facebook Live uh, recently, and I'd like to finish it. So I'm, if I, I might add, um, yeah, I might add some to, some to this to finish it. So I have another page finished because right now it's not quite finished yet. So that was new, and then I don't think I've done anything else new in this journal. Oh no, I, I, the paste piece of paper is there because I want to do another insect. Okay, so that's that. So I've, but it's still some things I've done. One, two. Three, four, maybe four more journal pages since last time we spoke. Yeah, it's not bad. Eh? It's not about the amount, really, but <laughs> I'm still challenging myself to finish the journal. So, Okay, so what I was thinking of doing today is I want to um, do an insect here, and I want to do a butterfly, probably, because in my insect series I haven't done a butterfly before, even though butterflies are really big for me, but I never just do the focus of a butterfly on its own. On, it, on its own. This is another type of bug. Where else? Oh, here, here's another one. All right. Huh. So what I want to do today is I'd like to play around with the gouache and then uh, create a butterfly. I have printed out a reference photo. I'm going to use base something on this, but I might, instead of drawing it this way, I might draw it this way, so I have a bit more space to play around with. Um, like that, maybe. Or maybe, yeah, maybe like this, or maybe like this, not sure. So then the pages won't be kind of super connected, but they'll still be connected because I'm doing two bugs. And I'll do a blue blue background similar. I just don't want to... If I do it this way, it's so small, and I have all this lovely space to do a make slightly bigger but butterfly. So I'll do that, and then I might finish the uh, houses as well, and I'll see how I go. If I'm up for finishing off a couple of other bits, then you'll see me work on those as well. Uh, and I'll do... I'll try to do a bit of a voiceover. Um, and while I'm making the butterfly and intertwined or intertwixed, that's a good word, it doesn't exist. Intertwixed, intermixed with the music maybe, and uh, I'll comment a little bit on the gouache that I'm using as well. Yeah, and if you uh, play along with me, if you're also painting or drawing, do please join my uh, Facebook group, which is Willowing, called Willowing and Friends, and I'd love to see any art that you create in there. Um, the links are in the description below. What else? Oh yeah, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and click that little bell there. Ding! That means you get notified if I upload a new video. Alright, let's get started on some arting and uh, see what uh, these gouache are going to do for me. Alright, let's get started. Thank you. 
guys so here's the finished little butterfly I really like how she came out she's very cheerful 
and happy and sweet. I gave her a little face. Of course, in reality, this makes no sense because you tend to see these wings from above and the face is actually at the front. Um, but I wanted to make it into a whimsical character where you could see her little friendly face and I really like it. Now, what you guys don't know is that I wanted to do some extra work, right, and show it to you uh, while I was working, but I have made several attempts and none of them I liked. <laughs> So instead of filming that, well, it has been filmed, but I thought I didn't, I wouldn't, I didn't want to include it because it's all unfinished and me getting frustrated. But I will show you the pages that I actually did, uh, did I, that I also attempted because I want to be honest with you guys, transparent with you guys, and also you're going to see those pages anyway because I am committing to finishing these two journals maybe this year. Um, uh, yeah, and you and in that process you'll obviously see the pages. And I think it's really important that you guys know that lots of artists make all sorts of pages that they really don't like. <laughs> I mean, I really love this one though. So let me show you um, what I tried. Ooh, let me just put this one to the side. Where can I put it there? What I tried after the butterfly and got it all annoyed with. So let's have a look. Did I do anything here? I will go to the beginning. Okay, so I'll just do a flick, a uh, quick flip through to find the pages, but also you can see again what all these, what all the pages are, are look like, or what this book is like there. So for those of you who haven't seen the book yet, now you get, because let's see, get to see a flip through of what I've got so far. These were all done as part of my course She Blooms. If you're interested in that course, it's still available on willowing.org. By the way, so these are all fine. These are all fine. This is all done from previously. You've seen this before. Uh oh! <laughs> so here, I uh, ugh, it's all right. I got. I really wanted to use those gouache. By the way, I love the gouache, but I wanted to just. Uh, I actually had leftover paint, and I thought, let me just scribble all around with it and see what I come up with. And I did. I what was under there? There was another paint, another a drawing that I done, and I'd kind of take it off. And I really, I got bored with it. I can, I can work on this. Um, but I just got bored with it. So I'm going to work on it next time. And I wanted to do a painterly painting and it's all right, but not something, you know, I'm thrilled about at all. I did make this extra drawing as well. This is a new drawing. I really do love that drawing. So that's okay, but I didn't end up painting it. Uh, but this is the, ugh, don't like that. Uh, I really want to do something with this figure at some point. Uh, okay. Anyway, so that was new. This is not new. That's not new. That's still the same. I should do another bug here, shouldn't I? Maybe sometime I will. I started doing a little bit of this one. Didn't feel like it. Didn't was wasn't really up for it. Uh, it was one of those blah after evenings after the butterfly. It was this blah blah blah. Here we go, another blah. I mean, actually, I can finish this, no problem. I don't mind this, but I kind of didn't like how I put her in the corner and then she's looking that way as if she's being followed or something and scared. So it was more about, so it's not about the the paint, the painting itself. It's more about how I framed her and, and that she looks a bit scared, like she's being followed or that something's happening over there and she's scared. And I was like, what? Why have you done that? But I quite like this one. You know, I like this, the shape and maybe I can, maybe I move her eyes or something so that it doesn't look like she's, I don't know, being attacked from behind. <laughs> but I also, there was a, a drawing here that you may remember and I have erased that. So I basically updated this page. There was a drawing here that I didn't like. I erased her, drew something here, and now it looks like she's in the corner being chased by something. So I will work on that. But yeah, I got bored and annoyed with myself. So I moved on again. This is what happens with me. Anyway, I still like this one. I should finish this one day. It's nearly finished anyway. It was a quick live demonstration. Anyway, here's the nice butterfly that I do really like. That's not new. I really should do something about that. Every time I see it, I shudder. <laughs> By the way, some people get annoyed with me when I comment negatively on my artwork. And uh, don't worry, I'm not beating myself up or anything. It's just, and also I don't think that, uh, I only really do it to myself. <laughs> I do it to myself, but I don't want you to think that um, I'm being horrible towards myself. I just don't like what I see and I want to update it or change it or do something with it. I think I did this with oils. Was it oils? I can't remember. Okay, this one could be updated as well. Still, I quite like her, but she needs more. And I think that was it for this journal, the additional stuff that I tried. Is that right? Yeah. 
Okay, so that was that one. So I did two or three pages that I tried there. And then I also tried some stuff in this journal, I think. So this is the other journal that I want to finish. I'll show, I'll go through all the pages. I've got a quick flip through. This face so annoys me. I love this. Okay. Did a, I started the face here that I really don't like. Just the proportions. I don't like the face. Uh, could try it. It's all right. It's not right. You know, meh, meh, meh. So I went over. Oh, that was a, there was another drawing under that. I, I changed it to a different drawing. Oh, added a, a drawing here that I got bored with. <laughs> See? Oh, what's going on? Tim? Just not having a good night. That's how it goes. Sometimes it happens. It's okay. It happens. So I just I want to share it with you guys so you know that that can happen. And but don't give up, okay? One of the messages I give my students a lot. Oh, oh, I want to talk to you about this thing in a sec. But um, don't give up. But because you see how I spend four, I don't know three four hours whatever, starting pages and getting annoyed, starting pages getting annoyed, starting pages getting annoyed and not finishing it. Now that can be very disheartening and discouraging. And you might say to yourself, "F this." I am not an artist. I can't do this. No, and that is where you have to challenge yourself. Even if you make four or five paintings you don't like, there is like this phase, okay? Um, see, I don't stop because I now know that I go through phases of making art that I don't like and I will fix it and we'll work with it. But when you're in the beginning of your creative journey, you might think, I'm just not good at this. Let's. Why am I torturing myself? What am I doing? And instead, that space, that phase, you'll, you're basically in the creative phase number two, I call it, uh, where most of the work you make isn't quite what you want it to be, or maybe it's t totally not what you want it to be, and it, it's very tempting to give up. Now, the people that work through that phase are the people that will eventually make art that they do like. You might go, duh, and that sounds logical. But it's not natural, it's actually not that intuitive, because you are it's very discouraging to be faced with, you know, failure, quote-unquote, constantly, and it can be painful. But if you take lessons, practice a lot, focus, adjust, learn with attention and concentration, there is absolutely variation in between, how, uh, amongst people, how fast they learn something. But I believe everyone can learn to draw, every, everyone can learn to paint. Some people do it faster, some people do it slower. So... Uh, cultivate, I call it cultivating creative courage, or cultivating the, the courage to fail, is a super important part of becoming successful eventually. Because if you don't go through that phase two, then then you can never become successful, right? Because if you give up, well then, then, then that's it, end of the journey. But if you keep going at it, you will get to a point where actually, then I call it phase three, where actually more of your artwork is what you like, and then um, a smaller amount of the artwork you make you don't like. There's a whole process of that, and a lot of people don't realize that you will get through that phase two. You just need to become a bit hardened, a bit hardy, and cultivate the courage. Because it's about courage, you know? Why you don't want to make art all that you don't like is because it hurts in your soul. <laughs> That's how that goes. It's painful for your soul. Also, we have this tendency to equate our artwork or our this voice or how we sing with uh, how worthy we are as a human, which is a faulty equation. That's not a formula that is correct, but somehow we just do that um, in our minds. And so we have to, if we become aware of that, that's really good because then you can challenge it and you just need to say to yourself, I just need to keep practicing. I'm going to learn from this. I'm going to, and you know, like you need to take on that bit of spirit from the guy, Thomas Edison, who invented the light bulb. Apparently he tried a thousand or 10,000. I don't know what the exact figure is, but ways to, to create the light bulb. And he failed so many times. And then when he was asked, well, how did it make you feel uh, that you failed 10,000 times? And he just said, I didn't fail 10,000 times. I just found uh, 10,000 ways how to not make a light bulb. In other words, he reframed his experience uh, and managed to therefore keep going and not get discouraged that by the 9,000th time <laughs> it still didn't work, you know, that he was like, F this, I'm going to give up. So, you know, like, it's a really important part of the creative journey. It's a cultivate creative courage or to cultivate the courage to 
fail or to basically face confront your piece of art that you don't like and then there's the whole other thing of you might not like it but other people might and all that and it's all subjective anyway but regardless it's about if you have a good connection with your art and often you might not like I have not you see there's loads now that I have not liked and and I'm not stopping I'm gonna keep going as you'll see I have been going for the last 15 years or whatever anyway <laughs> that's a bit of a intro or oh, I want to talk to you about this so um yeah so let me go back so this here <laughs> I'm not I don't do figures a lot I did a figure I showed you figures and um, this was a I saw this uh, in a, a photo online somewhere and I thought oh let me just do this I, I scribbled this on a the figure this figure on a on a piece of copier paper like normal printer paper and it's so funny for me this because I think it's so weird and quirky and somewhat ugly that it's good. <laughs> so she's like this sort of dark, weird fairy figure, but I thought proportionately it isn't too bad. So this is a type of thing that I would keep in my art journal and not think I have to change this. So I think, you know, I mean, there's a hand, there's a hand there, this hand's a bit too big, you know, but there's a leg, you can see it, it's not bad. And as this little mini study, I quite liked it. So yeah, so I did do that, but I didn't film that by the way. Um, yeah, so that's the only one that came out, even though it's not a masterpiece in any way. I quite liked it as a little study, so I'm going to keep that in. <laughs> it's a little kind of um, pixie girl or something. So I think that's all I tried to do. Did I do anything more? No. Oh yeah, and this. Sorry, I'll... <laughs> I also did this. Actually, I really quite like this. This is sort of a painterly page. There was, a, I don't know if you recall the drawing under this. I stuck fairly closely to the original drawing. Um, but I, I suppose I just got slightly bored. Again, I got a bit bored, so I don't mind it. Oops, sorry for the beep beep. I don't mind it so much, but again, I got a bit bored. So it doesn't blow me away. It doesn't um, annoy me too much either. So yeah, I can finish this. I should just finish this at some point and I'll figure out a way to make it more interesting. So yeah, so yeah, yeah, like that. It was a bit like that. So that was another one I did, and then that's it, I think. Was that the end? Yeah, that was the end. Okay. <laughs> right. So there you go. And uh, this is a messy sort of episode of Finish a Journal, episode four. Oh, I should just like close it, like end of the the end of the book. Hope you enjoyed seeing this, and that you learned a little bit about how to cultivate courage to keep going even if you make lots of things you don't like which can happen all the time uh, oh next to the other figure it can happen all the time don't lose courage you can do this thing i believe in you thank you for watching my video and i will be back with another episode soon oh and don't forget to subscribe please and maybe click that bell so you're notified when i upload a video plus uh, come and uh, come and hang out with me in all my social media places and all that sort of stuff i'd love to hang out with you on instagram or Facebook. See you there. Much love. Bye. Hey.